Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You're on Alpha Omega occasionally. And on this occasion, we're driving to pick up my son from school. It's uh, half past two on a Tuesday afternoon. Nothing remarkable about, remarkable about that. I'll turn the air down in case it's interfering with the sound. It's uh, 39 degrees at the moment, according to the barometer or thermometer, whatever you want to call it. I think it's barometer on the car. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with the details of showing you the streets that I'm driving around you know this isn't about this isn't a driving video but it is a bit of a rant in so far as I can't I still can't fathom you see I tried to I'm trying to stay positive yeah I'm positive I, I stay positive about my my life here um one second pulling out now Kapum thank you thank you you're shown out of here or you're ushered out of the complex by security they make sure there's no traffic coming um, anyway but look the, the thing about it is driving in Thailand is pretty hairy at the best of times I mean essentially Thailand has the second highest rate I think I've, I don't know many times I've said this um, Thailand has the second highest rate of road fatalities anywhere in the world I said that to a Thai guy once and you know he said we're only second and I said well you're second only to Libya you know and Libya's a war zone nothing against anyone from Libya now at all at all I mean there's nothing there but I mean come on um, there's no accolade and there's nothing to be proud of if you're the second worst country in the world for road fatalities and one of the reasons now I'm pulling into the side here because there's fellas on either on the other side it's a very narrow uh, street, a back street. Anyway, uh, one of the reasons for this is because of the complete disregard for basic rules of the road. For example, more than two people on a motorcycle. Anywhere else, no, not anywhere else in the world. The majority of places that I've been to, you can have the rider, the, obviously, obviously the one in control, and a pillion passenger. But you cannot have more than that. But here, I mean, I saw today four adults, and it's common, um, especially at school times like this. Now, you'll see uh, parents picking up their kids from school and two or three kids on the on the back of the bike, the motor, the motorcycle. So it really is. Um, an issue you know if you have an accident on a motorcycle um, if there's two people on it there's two people injured if you got an accident on a motorcycle and there's four people on it it goes without saying hang on I'm pulling out onto soy in tramra hang on here we go so that's one of the things another thing about uh, driving here is that the the aforementioned motorcycles will pull out in front of you in traffic they literally just pull out in front of you uh, without looking they just come out of nowhere and now there's someone double parked here what i'm going to do i'm going to turn the camera around and do the talking um so i just pulled in for gasoline here and i haven't turned off the engine I'm going to do it now but i was never asked to and they never ask you to but he's pumping the fuel in there and the engine's running a lot of them do that as well they they um keep their engine running while the, the fuel is being pumped pumped in that's another aspect to drive in here but i'm going to flip the camera around now as we're pulling out of here and you'll be able to see as I'm talking there'll probably be some examples as of what I'm talking about so here we are pulling out of the gas station now yep. pulling out of the gas station now and it's uh, this is a ramp coming out and literally the fender at the front of the car scrapes off the, the, the road because the angle is so acute Anyway, this is Soy in Tramra, um, Bangkok 10400. That's the postal code of this area, if you're wondering where it is. Um, a lot of karaoke bars along this road at night. Uh, this is a real Thai entertainment area. I'm trying to pull out now. You have to force your way, force your way out there. Look, no helmets on the bike. But there you go, look. That's a kid on the back, by the way. There you go. No helmets. So you get a really good view. Lift it up there. A really, really good view of what's going on. Okay. So heading up. So I hope this is interesting. I don't want. I don't want it to be boring. You know. I mean, it's. Um, I don't know what the audio is like because I've got me. I'm. I'm behind the camera. I hope you can hear me. But 
you hopefully you get an idea what I'm talking about. Look, there we go. No helmets, no helmets, no helmets, okay? Um parking. They park anywhere and everywhere. You can see it there. And there's a modified motorcycle thing, look. Those guys go around picking up garbage and re to, and bringing it to recycle depots to get it to get some money. That can give you an idea of the poverty that, that exists around here. Side by side with extreme wealth. Anyway, looks like it's gonna rain. We're in the middle of the monsoon. I can see the clouds building above. Um, there's a guy parked at a junction. Look, parked at a junction. Look, there you go. They don't give a t see this is it. This is what I'm trying to point out to you, and it's as well I turned the camera the other way because you I'd just be talking about it, you wouldn't get an idea. But you're getting a good idea now, I think. Okay. That's a lane there, obviously, that's a lane, but it's always blocked with people parking in it. Now watch this, I'm coming up to a T-junction here, this is the uh, Wigwang Market. I gotta be, there's a kid, there's a kid in the bike, there you go, you saw it there. And they come out there from the right hand side, um, I just jut out in front of you. Motorcycle on the wrong side of the road there, overtaken, doesn't give a damn. There's one of the new Bangkok buses, air conditioned. Very, very nice indeed. So as you can see here, taxis take up the lane. Just park in the, on the lane. The motorcycles park in the laneway. Um, you see that guy parked at the junction there at the pedestrian crossing. Look at the crossing. Look at that. Gee whiz. You see, this is what I mean. It's a total disregard. A total disregard. The traffic is very light actually. It's a quarter to three. Very, very light indeed. So I'm able to make, at night by the way, this is a different place. This is where I shoot my videos for the big picture, El Panorama. If you haven't subscribed to that channel, we're just about to hit 100,000 subs, please God. Um, and it, this is, it's a, it's a, I shoot them here and it's a different place at night. So we're stopped at the lights here. This is um, Rashid Dafasik intersection. So I'm crossing uh, Rashid Afazik Road now. That motorcycle just cut in front of me. This guy is egging in front. Go on, go on, you're going anyway. Look, look at this. I've got the lights going for me and they're cutting in in front of me. In fairness, I let that first guy go, but it's an, it's a, it, it's just like now, it's a, the, the flow, it just not, won't stop. Look, I am completely stopped in the middle of the road. They're on, they're still that taxi's on the wrong side of the road, turning right. Okay, here we go. You're getting a first-hand view of what this is like. You can see the Chinese influence around here. Every, all these, uh, all these business premises have uh, Mandarin Chinese characters. Now turning right, and I can't even pronounce the name of this road. It's uh, Pracha Rat Bam Pen. Bam Pen. And turning right, you know who's got priority here? God knows. Look, motorcycles just keep going. They do what they want anyway. So that guy in front of me is trying to look force his way out. You have to force your way out. Look. You can't be timid. There was one thing about driving in Bangkok. You can't be timid at all. And the politeness, those clouds are black. Um, politeness kind of goes out the window. Like they're very polite as people, but on the roads they're anything but. You can hear the speed bumps there. I must say the traffic is particularly light. There's a taxi, see the taxi just pulled out there. Did you see that? Right in front of them. If you did that where I, in Ireland, I tell you, you wouldn't hear the end of it. So you see the guy indicating there, it's not a junction. They do it, they, do, they have no idea. Look, it's not a junction. It's just the, the road curves. 
and they always indicate them the, my missus will tell me that why don't you indicate because it's not a junction they just have no idea the condition of this road uh, is beginning to deteriorate there guy park just park look there you go just park there no one gives a damn and there's no um <coughs> excuse me you can see the red and white curb stones there so you can park at the crossing but there's no parking restriction anywhere else along the road here so they just park where they want to so this as i said it's a typical tuesday uh now 10 to 3 or 2.50 in the afternoon on a June day a very hot June day I let him go look ties would never do this I, look it takes him a while to cop it look you can't believe it ties don't do that they don't stop and let you go I try to make a point of it Lovely old Mercedes there, look at that. With a German registration, how about that? It's the first for me, I never saw that before. So now we're on the return leg of the journey. Um, and we'll see what we can see. But here we are now, trying to pull out of a, a 7-Eleven car park. And this will be interesting, okay? So the guy in front of me is edging his way out. And this fella's coming in now. Will he come in before I get out? Look, he's gonna try. Look, look, look at this. What the fuck? What the hell? Fucking idiot. You see that? He tried to pull in as I was pulling out. I don't know. The mentality, here's the rain now. The mentality is just unbelievable. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But look, you gotta, I mean, I, okay, I'm videoing now, I'm talking about it, and basically, normally I just don't even think about it, but obviously because I'm making the video, I'm highlighting the fact, or the facts. Okay, turning left, so I've got priority, but the guys on the far side don't even acknowledge that. Look, the one nearest to junction has priority, but not here. So I think you find that it's probably a lot different to what you're used to, wherever you're from. I doubt very much if you're from a Western country that people behave on the roads the way they behave on the roads here. It's in total stark contrast. There's three on a motorcycle there, look. It's in total stark contrast to the way they behave when they're not on the roads. They're all on the wrong side of the road here, look. Every one of them. Look at the mo motorcycles. Every single one of them, look. And if I hit one of them, even though they're on the wrong side of the road, I'd be hard pressed to justify myself. Whoops, a daisy. Look at this, look at this. Now we're trying to turn right, I should say. I said left there. We're trying to turn right on Rashid Afasik, and it look, they're beeping, they're doing what, look, this guy here on my, look, this guy here in the green pickup, he's trying to cut in across, look. He's skipping, he's skipping the queue, and so is this one. Maybe not that one, but the green pickup is skipping. Watch. They just do what they want. This is more difficult than it should be. There's the green pickup gone ahead of everybody else. There we go. So there we go. That was that. A typical Tuesday driving in Bangkok. I hope you enjoyed this video, lads. And if you have done, make sure you click that like button, click the share button, click the subscribe button, do all those wonderful things, and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.